This is The Servant DM, and you're listening to episode one of Understanding Magic. In order to understand any rule system, you must first understand the terminology used to define it. The first three terms we're going to look at are foundational terms, magic, spells, and casting. Magic is the invisible, intangible force that exists everywhere in the world of Dungeons and Dragons. It is also the term used to describe any effect that is sourced by that force. A spell is a prescribed manipulation of magic that delivers a specific outcome. And casting is the act of a character to complete a spell. Now, in the player's handbook, there are over 600 spells available to cast, but no character has access to every spell. Which brings us to the next term, which is the spell list. The spell list is a catalog of every spell potentially available to your character, as defined by your class and some choices you make as you level up. However, there is another step required before a spell is actually available to cast brings us to our next terms, known and prepared spells. Known is a spell off the character's spell list that is fixed in the character's mind permanently and is always available for casting. Prepared is also a spell from the character's spell list, which is fixed in their mind and is also available for casting, but it can change on a daily basis. Components are a further requirement for a character to cast a spell, and they are broken down into three categories, verbal, somatic, and material. Verbal requires that a character could speak audibly. Somatic requires that the character has a free hand to gesture, and Material requires that the character has both the material available, or an equivalent spellcasting focus, and a free hand to use that material or focus. If a spell requires both somatic and material components, the same hand can be used to do both. The final term on the list of requirements for spellcasting is the spell slot. A spell slot represents the amount of mental stamina required to cast a spell. Let us use the spell Fireball as an example to see how all of this works. Fireball is a third level spell and it has the components verbal, somatic, and material. In order to cast Fireball, it must first be on your character's spell list. Next, it must be a spell that is either known or prepared by the character. Also, the character must be able to speak, must be able to gesture, and must be able to manipulate material components. And lastly, the character must have a third level spell slot available. Upon casting the spell, the third level spell slot is spent, however the spell remains fixed in the character's mind as a known or prepared spell. And with that we conclude basic spellcasting terminology. I hope to be creating more videos soon in the Understanding Magic series. Until then, let's all make the game a better place.